Hey everyone, so it is that time of the year. Brands are launching all of their holiday gift sets. I love seeing what brands come up with this time of the year. I kind of wait sometimes if I'm interested in a certain product because a lot of the times you can actually get like multiple shade varieties in many sizes rather than paying the money for one full size product. So for example, if I want a liquid blush from Rare Beauty, I usually wait to see if they launch any sort of set during the holidays that comes with like three minis rather than buying one full size blush because I love mini products. I'm not someone who makes it through tons and tons of full size makeup products. So if there's a mini available, especially in multiple shades for the price of one, I'm taking advantage of it. I also love like the Sephora favorite sets where you get multiple products from all different brands. And sometimes you can get a really good deal in terms of value, but sometimes there are some bad deals. I always do the math when I film these videos and see like what you're actually paying versus the value you're getting. And this year, especially there are a lot of inflated values. Some of them I feel like are almost just like full on false advertising. So in today's video, I want to share the best and worst sets in terms of value and just what you get in each set from Sephora's website. I'll probably do a part two because I'm sure there will be additional sets coming out. And if you want to see a version on like Ulta sets, let me know. But let's start with 10 that I thought would be kind of popular. Okay, let's start with a few Sephora favorite sets. I think what's nice about the Sephora favorite sets is you're getting the chance to try multiple brands. And a lot of the time they include a lot of best selling products from the brands or things that have gone viral or things that are just really, really popular. And typically these Sephora favorite sets do sell out a little bit faster than other sets from different brands because again, I think you just get a nice variety. And what's nice about these sets is the value does check out. The first one I wanted to highlight is the Holiday Sparkly Clean Beauty Kit. I have a few of these products. If I didn't, I probably would pick this one up because I think this one is a really good deal and I love the products they included. It's $42, but it's $124 in value. Like I said, I went through and did all of the math. The value does check out with this one. So it's almost three times worth what you pay for it. There is a full-sized Merit lipstick. I've heard really good things about this formula. I haven't tried their lipstick formula, but I do like a lot of their products, mainly face products but I think their lipstick, the shade they included looks really pretty. It's described as a berry brown, which I think is perfect for this time of the year. There is a full size blush from Say, their Dew Liquid Blush. I haven't tried this, but I've heard really good things about the formula. I did order one from Flip. I just haven't tried it out yet because I wanted to try it on camera for the first time, but this is in the shade Chili, which is a cool toned mauve. There is a full size lip gloss from Cali Ray. I did try this product and I wasn't a big fan. I felt like it was very underwhelming for the price. It's $19, so not outrageously expensive expensive, but in my opinion, it kind of performs like something I would expect to see for more of like a $3 price point. And even as I say that, I'm like, that's not really a good comparison because I have $3 lip glosses from e.l.f. that are so good. This is just like a very lightweight formula. It almost felt like a lip oil. So it wore off super quickly. There was no plumping effect at all. It didn't burn or sting the lips, but it was just really underwhelming. And then the packaging ended up splitting open on me. So I wasn't the biggest fan of that product personally. There's also a Kosas eyebrow gel in clear. I did try this brow gel and it works really well. I think Kosas brow products are so nice and honestly really underrated. So that's it for full size products, but they also have a mini rose ink mascara. I think online it does say that it is a full size one, but based on the photo and then like the actual ounces that they listed on the website, it is a mini. So just keep that in mind. And then there is a Freck Beauty Cactus Water. This is a deluxe size. So I think that one is a really great set if you are curious to try a lot of those brands or those products, or if you're shopping for a beauty lover in your life and you think they would be open to trying a lot of those, that's a really good deal in terms of value. I am not quite there where I'm shopping for other people yet. It's, it's October. No, it's September. I almost said it's October. It's September. So I'm definitely not in like the gift shopping mode. I can tend to be a little bit of a procrastinator, so I don't know that I'll be buying a lot of gifts quite yet, but that might be one you want to grab if you're thinking about giving it as a gift because I do think it will sell out. The next one is the Sephora Favorites Holiday Makeup Must Haves Kit. So this one's $58 a little more expensive, but it has a $184 value. The value does check out with this one as well. In fact, I think you get like a few extra dollars in terms of value than what they listed on the Sephora website, but this one comes with 11 pieces of best-selling makeup, skincare, and hair care must-haves. This one has a couple of different options. So as for the full-size products, you do get a beauty blender, a full-size sponge, a full-size KBD tattoo pencil liner, which I have tried this formula. It stays in place so well. If you're looking for like a true 
smudge proof pencil liner. This one's great. It comes in black. And then you get a full size lawless forget the filler line smoothing gloss. Honestly, that is one of the best lip gloss formulas I've ever tried. So I love that they actually included like a full size version of it because I feel like a lot of people would really enjoy it. And then you do get a full size milk makeup lip and cheek blush or lip. It's like a lip and cheek all in one, but I, I mainly use that product as a blush. As for the minis, you do get the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I don't know if I've tried this. You guys like this product? You tried that, I would love to know. I think that's actually the only hair product in here. And then you do get a mini Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, which again, I have not tried, but it might be a nice chance to try that in this kit. A mini Fenty Beauty Mascara, which was not my personal favorite. I think it looks so good on the lashes. It's called like their Hella Thick Mascara, so it definitely gives you a lot of volume but it ended up flaking and smudging on me. And then you get a mini Huda Beauty powder, which I really enjoy that powder. I think it's a great smoothing, mattifying formula. A mini makeup eraser, which those come in handy, especially when you're traveling, and then two skincare products. Again, is it is a little bit more expensive than the set I mentioned previously. I think the first set appeals to me more, but if you're looking for like a wider variety of products or you wanna get a little bit more, this one might be ideal. Let's talk about some of the worst deals in terms of value. I was actually so sad about this one because this is the type of set I look forward to the most. I did buy some version of this last year and I thought it was a really good deal, but I don't know what happened this year. It's the Rare Beauty Mini Blush and Glow four-piece set. So you get two mini liquid blushes and two mini liquid highlighters. Based on the photo, I mean, they're obviously mini, but I don't think they look quite as small as they actually are. If you scroll through the reviews on Sephora's website, they are tiny. I do have a few mini blushes from Rare Beauty that I got in previous kits and they weren't quite this small. Actually, last year's kit came with two minis and one full-size blush and the minis were a lot bigger than this. I'm not opposed to a mini liquid blush from Rare Beauty because as you know, their blushes are very highly pigmented. Like a tiny bit goes such a long way, but people in in the review section were shocked by how small they were once they actually came in. What's interesting is this is a $34 set. They say it's $54 in terms of value, but I did the math and based on the price and how much you get in the full size blushes and the full size highlighters, this actually only comes out to be a $29 value, like right around there, $29 and change which is so surprising because they're actually charging 34, but they're saying it's $54 in value. So I don't know exactly how they arrived at that. Let me just say, sometimes the value that they attach to these kits isn't always like the most important factor when you're buying it. For me personally, I'd rather pay maybe just like a little bit more to get four minis in different shades rather than paying the same amount for one color, especially when it comes to a product like a liquid blush or a liquid highlighter, because it's not something I'll ever finish up completely for the most part. So I wouldn't even be opposed to spending the $34 for something that's a little bit less in terms of value, but I just feel like that's like full on false advertising. Maybe it was a typo, maybe it was a mistake. That's just really, really off and I think it's good to know because if you're buying this based on the perceived value, I just feel like it's nice to know whether or not it's actually worth that. If you go into it knowing you're going to get really small products, like the blush comes with 3.2 milliliters and the highlighters come with 2.5 milliliters, then that might be totally fine to you. Just don't expect to get like a deluxe size product. It truly is like a mini. Another set with a very highly overinflated value is this one from Tarte. Now Tarte does have some really good sets and typically during the holidays, they do release sets that are a really good deal, but this is not one of them. This is the Amazonian Clay Party Palette Cheek Set. It's $42, but they're saying it's $234 in value. First of all, this looks like the exact same palette three times based on the photo, which doesn't make sense to me. I think it would have been nice to see like a larger variety of palettes, maybe even like a full highlighter palette, a full blush palette, and then a full bronzer palette. They're kind of marketing as like, keep one for yourself, give two away. But I just feel like it doesn't really make a ton of sense to release three palettes that look so similar. Maybe in person they're a little bit different, but this photo is not doing them justice if that's the case. So I think in terms of value, like that in and of itself is not a great deal. The fact that you're getting such similar shades within the three palettes. But I, like based on another palette I saw on Sephora's website, this is actually more of a $75 value, which means they're inflating it by like $159. So on Sephora's website, they actually have something that's been available for a little while, a mini play to go cheek palette for $25. It actually comes with the same amount of product as these palettes, 9.3 grams, like each pan is 3.1 grams. 
and that's $25. So based on the math, they're saying each one of these palettes is worth $78. In what world is one of these mini tart palettes worth the same as like a full on hourglass palette? That makes no sense. Now, are three of these worth $42? Like the actual price they're charging? Maybe, maybe that would be worth it to you because that's like $14 a palette, less than $5 a product. But again, I just think it's one of the worst deals because it's like you're getting three of the same palette over and over. So Tarte usually does like some sort of maracuja juicy lip set for the holiday season. I think two years ago I purchased one and it was a really good deal because I got four full size products for, I wanna say like the price of two. So this year they did one that comes with, again, four full size lip products for $40. So it's like you're paying $10 each. Normally they're $24 each. So you are saving quite a bit if you were to purchase them all separately. The value is basically like buy two, get two free, and save a few dollars on top of that. So here's the thing about this set. These are all really good products, but the shades are very, very similar. If this is a shade you love, you might actually like to get it in different finishes. Three of them come in the shade Fig, and then there's a shade that's slightly different called Rosy Copper. The shift version is basically supposed to adjust based on your personal pH, so maybe it will look slightly more pink toned, but based on the swatches, it looks almost identical. Same with the lip cream, but at least that's a different formula. That's more of like a traditional cream lipstick. And then there's actually a like shimmery Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump, and that's the one that comes in the different shade. I think you could probably pair that with the lipstick, and that would kind of change things up. I think what would have made this just a little bit better is if one of the Maracuja Juicy Lips came in like a very different shade because they're all so, so close to each other. But I know a lot of people do tend to wear like maybe a similar color family and they might like different options, like different formulas. So just keep that in mind. I like that these actually come in duos so you can split them apart if you're looking to give them as a gift or use them as like a stocking stuffer or you can keep them all for yourself. That's what I usually do with this kit. One of the best holiday gift sets that any brand does is this one from Tarte, in my opinion, because there are high-end mascaras are expensive. And sometimes you see like different sets for the holiday season. I think Too Faced usually does it with like their Better Than Sex mascara. I've seen other brands do it. And sometimes they'll pair like a mascara and an eyeliner together. But what I love that Tarte does is they'll usually include like three mascaras in a set. This year they actually did three full-size mascaras and one dual-ended eyeliner. So this is $44, but it's $101 in value. Each product breaks down to be $11 if you buy this as a kit. And I think that is so such a good deal because the mascaras are normally 25 and the eyeliner is normally 26. The only thing that I don't like in this set is the Big Ego. I did try that and I, I just wasn't really impressed by it. It was pretty underwhelming. But I love the Lights Camera Lashes and I love the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. I currently have that one open. And I do have like their double or dual ended eyeliner, but it's in black and then it has like a light nude on the other end. So other than the Big Ego, I am a fan of that set. If you like all three of those formulas, that might be a really good deal. I did wanna mention, I know this is a video on like the Sephora favorite sets, but Ulta has a set like this as well. Instead of Big Big Ego, you actually get the Man Eater Mascara, which I do like better. So if I was to purchase this, I'd go with the Ulta set and I might grab it because I do think that is a really good deal. But if you are a mascara fan or you're, look to, or you're looking to give a gift, this one's great because if you have someone who likes makeup but you don't know exactly what they're into, I feel like most people who like makeup do enjoy wearing mascara. Let's talk about a few bigger sets, like higher valued, higher price sets. So the first one I wanna mention is from Glow Recipe. Glow Recipe is obviously a very trendy brand. What's interesting is every time I talk to a teenager, whether it is like a niece or a family friend, or I talk to a parent of a teenager that I just, I know in real life, they always ask me about Glow Recipe or they tell me they're into it or their teen is really into it. It's really interesting because I see Glow Recipe everywhere online, like on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, but I hear about it so much from people in my personal life as well. So I feel like this is going to be a big seller. So this is the Glow Recipe Best of Glow Wish List Kit. It's $199, so pretty pricey, but you do get eight full-size products in here. It has a value of 296, but I think that's a really good deal. So so you're saving about $100 if you were going to end up purchasing all of these separately, but I feel like this would be such a good gift for like a true Glow Recipe fan in your life. I do think if you and like someone else in your life are fans of Glow Recipe, you could probably purchase this and maybe split it up. Glow Recipe does have like smaller, more targeted kits, which could be more ideal as well. So if you know they really love like the watermelon glow line or they really want like their strawberry line, 
that might be a better way to go. But I did think this was a really good deal because sometimes when it comes to the skincare sets, they're not, you're not always saving a lot if you were to purchase the kit rather than purchasing things separately. And like I said, Glow Recipe seems to be like one of the very, very popular brands these days. I actually purchased a version of this kit either last year or the year before. I kind of purchased it on a whim, to be honest. I did have some Ulta points. And I wanted to try a hair product like this. It's from Dry Bar. This is their blowout with a twist kit. So it's $155, but $235 in value. And this is actually a really good deal if you were thinking about purchasing their blow dry brush anyway. Now, if you already have one of these and this isn't on your radar, I would skip over this kit completely, but I think it could be a good gift as well. Even though it is a little bit more expensive, the blow dry brush itself retails for $155. And then on top of that, you get all of these hair products. I do really like their blow dry brush. I don't use it a ton, but I do feel like now that my hair is a little bit shorter than it used to be, it, it is a little bit more ideal. Although I like the idea of this half shot one. I don't have this one. I have the full size one, but I feel like the half shot one could be more ideal if you do have shorter hair. So it's basically heats up and you can give yourself like a blowout with it. It's really easy to use. And then, like I said, you do get some hair products. So you get like their detangler, you get their finishing spray, their control mist, their dry shampoo. As a whole, I will say dry bar hair products are not my go-to. I tried a lot of these, if not all of these, with the kit that I got. Again, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before. And there wasn't a formula that I was like obsessed with. Like there are other hair care brands I do prefer and other hair brands from Sephora that I reach for over this. But if you are a fan of dry bar or you were going to purchase the blow dry brush anyway, you might as well get this kit because you don't have to pay anything extra, but you get all of that added value in hair products. Another very trendy brand right now is Sol de Janeiro. I feel like everyone talks about their perfumes and their perfume mists, and I still haven't tried any of these. I feel like whenever I stop in a Sephora next, I should probably see what they smell like in person. I feel like scent is just something that I have to test out in person. So this is their travel perfume set. It's $34. They're saying it's $40 in value, but I broke it down. The value, the value is actually 32. Normally you can get a three ounce bottle for $24, which is $8 an ounce. And this comes with a four one ounce bottles, which comes out to be 32. So you're actually paying $2 extra rather than getting added value. I don't know if they're taking into account the fact that it comes in like a gift box, which is nice if you're giving it as a gift to someone else. And I do think it's worth paying the extra $2 to get four minis and get the chance to try out multiple scents rather than paying like the same price for one scent. I guess that kind of comes down to personal preference. I personally like mini fragrances always because I never finish up a full size fragrance and I like to switch it up. I think the only thing is you could you could go into a Sephora store and actually test these out in person and then buy the one that you like the best. But if you like to switch it up or you just wanna have a variety or you're giving it as a gift, I think it could be a good option. The last thing I wanna mention is from Give by Gwen Stefani. It's the All Eyes on Me Mascara and Eyeliner Set for $20. This one is $40 in value. And that's a really good deal because each of these products is actually $20. So it's basically like you're buying one and then getting one for free. It comes with their Can't Stop, staring mascara and then also their line it up gel eyeliner both in black i don't know why but like every time i'm at sephora i think about trying this mascara for some reason it's just like pulling me in so i do think i might actually pick up this set i feel like a black eyeliner is nice to have i've been using it as like to tight line my eyes. So I feel like I am using black eyeliner more than ever. And I'm curious to try out some more products from Give by Gwen Stefani. I've tried their lipstick, which is really, really nice. But is that it? I kind of want to try their highlighter. I feel like I've heard really good things about that too. So I might end up grabbing that. I feel like it's always nice to get high-end mascaras for a discounted price because normally I do tend to prefer to spend like drugstore or to pick up drugstore price mascaras but there are some really good high-end formulas. They're just obviously a lot more expensive. Okay, that's everything I wanted to share with you in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like this type of video and I can definitely film more of these because I'm sure there will be a ton of additional holiday launches coming out over the next few weeks. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. I will see you very soon with a new one. Bye.